Here's how to quickly add a gadget and record a part. It's very simple. I've created a new project by going File New. And of course, I have to select a device to start with. So I'm probably going to start with a drum machine. Here is a simple drum machine, one of Korg's own, of course. And what I can do is I can use my MIDI input device or I can just use the mouse. And if I use step mode, I can just basically put in notes into the MIDI grid for this gadget. And if I click on any of these channels, I can trigger the sound associated with that channel. And you can see the sounds being triggered in the gadget itself. So this is currently just a one bar loop. Now with step input, you don't necessarily have to use a metronome, but uh, you could do if you wanted, I could activate the metronome. I could turn my BPM down. And when I play, I might also want to just zoom. There we go. So I could put my beats in. And you can see that all I have to do to put a beat in is to tap in the square where I want it to go and I can tap it again to remove it. So you can see how simple that is. If I wanted to add a second one, I might want to add a baseline to that, let's say. And you can see that with a gadget that receives chromatic notes rather than beats, which a drum machine does, now I get more of a selection of notes. And of course, at this point, I can turn the metronome off because I've already got my beat going. So that's really straightforward. If I wanted to swap out a gadget, I could do it, of course, using, as I said before, the function button and change, or actually I can select the gadget I want to change and I can just tap on the gadget itself to open up my browser. So I could change it to a different drum machine. The MIDI part will be maintained. Let's say this one. Wow. Boy, that's a lot of reverb. I might try something slightly different. I might try this drum module. And you can see that different gadgets have different sets of sounds. So this one has actually got 16 pads, whereas the other one only had, I think it was eight. So I could then start mm -hmm. to add more parts to this. If I wanted to. So you can see that it's very easy to get up and running very quickly. Next, let's have a look at some of the gadgets and what they do.